Alright guys, my most popular video on my channel is about this Doyle rivet nut setter. So I wanted to go over a few questions that I see people asking all the time. The most questions I see is, can you buy replacement mandrels for these? Can you go up to a larger size? And does it actually work with the larger uh, rivet nuts? So I found on Amazon the replacements that did work. I also picked up some larger rivet nuts to show you guys how that works. And I'm also going to go through taking this thing apart and putting the new mandrel in it again so you guys can see. So it does come with the wrench here. So you're going to start by taking off this top nut. And you shouldn't have these super tight. There's no need for them to be that tight. So take that off. Pull this collar off. Now here's where you need to put your thumb on this here, take your finger here, and slide this back. Once you slide this back, now you can thread that out. So this unit right here, this is spring loaded, and it actually looks like a 12 point socket there. That's what locks in on the bottom hex there on your mandrels. So the mandrels, I went ahead and measured the thread size that actually is threading into the unit, and that is M8 by 1.25. And the hex size here, right, um, the spring-loaded piece on here is actually 12 millimeter. So those are the two pieces that you would get in a kit if you bought a new mandrel. You're going to get the top piece. It's usually going to be labeled like that. And then you're going to actually get the threaded part here. So this is the new 3.8 setup here. You've still got the 8 millimeter by 1.25 on the bottom. Now you have a much bigger thread up here. So what that's making is this is now a weak point because it's a lot smaller than this up here. So keep that in mind. So to reinstall, all you're going to do is basically the reverse. Pull that back. So these do not need to be tight. One thing though, right there where it's positioned right now, that's not correct. You need that collar to come all the way up there. So you may have to turn this thing a little bit to get that to lock up in there. So once you got that as tight as you can with that collar all the way up, you're good to go on that. Now you're going to take this piece here, thread that on. And I'm just going to get it kind of hand tight and then just put a little bit of pressure on it with the wrench there. So now you're going to put your top nut on. Same thing with this. Okay, so now you can open this up. And then these are the 3816 rib nuts. Slide that on. Okay, so here we go. So as you can see, it does work. It is a little bit tough with the handles only being so long. I have seen on Amazon um, other kits that have much larger handles that are capable of doing like half inch and larger riv nuts, but you can do it on here. Just know that you're putting a lot of stress on these parts right here because it's technically not designed to do it. So I will put a link in the description on how to buy this. I'll put a link on uh, where these are at. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them.